Irving Goffman. From a methodological perspective, Goffman often employed qualitative approaches, specifically ethnography, most famously in his study of social aspects of mental illness, in particular the functioning of total institutions. Despite his influence, according to Fine and Manning, there are remarkably few scholars who are continuing his work, nor has there been a Goffman school. Thus his impact on social theory has been simultaneously great and modest. Regardless of whether Goffman coined the term, he popularized it with his 1961 book of Salon's Essays on the Social Situation of Mental Patients and Other Inmates. Focusing on the social frameworks, Goffman seeks to construct a general statement regarding the structure, form of experiences individuals have at any moment of their social life. The types of frames Goffman is considering are discussed in previous sections of the book, fabrications, kinds, frame breaks, misframing, and of course, frame disputes. That a frame can assume so many forms is the basis of his analyses. These framings are subject to a multitude of different transformations the warrant for a frame analysis. In the first place, E. Goffman's key idea is that most conversation is simply a replaying of a strip, what he describes as a personal experience or event. Relative size, according to Goffman, Relative size can be defined as one way in which social weight, power, authority, rank, office, renown is echoed expressively in social situations through relative size, especially height. Specifically, Goffman discusses self-talk and its role in social situations. In his career, Goffman worked at the University of Chicago, Division of Social Sciences, Chicago, Assistant, 1950 Terminus 53, Resident Associate 1953-54, National Institute of Mental Health, Bethesda, Maryland, Visiting Scientist, 1954-57, University of California, Berkeley, Assistant Professor, 1957-59, Professor, 1959-62, Professor of Sociology, 1960-68, University of Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Benjamin Franklin Professor of Anthropology and Sociology, 1969 minutes.